Introducing first, on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 155 pounds. His record stands one win against two defeats. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, the always fun Volunteer World And across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighed in at 155 pounds. His record stands one win against one defeat. Fighting out of Seabrook, Texas, by way of League City, Texas, Logan Steezy Easley. Referee in charge of the action, Danielle Govella. Logan Easley, the volatile one, Victor Herrera. And this fight is officially underway. Both fighters, conventional stance. Herrera in the purple, um, excuse me, Easley. Oh, and here we have our first takedown of the night from Easley. Oh, and he's already looking to take the back right here. Our first grappling exchange right now. Easily in the purple trunks. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Going for the rear naked choke. Can he finish it? Oh, he's, this, one, he's, he's, this choke is looking very, very deep Ooh -wee, right now. This is early on. Yes, sir. They're, they're still dry right now, too. Herrera's going to have to look to fight the top hand. And that's what he's doing right now. He's peeling, fighting the hands. And he survives it for now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and now he's going. He's moving that arm across to the other side right now. Showing some back defense right here. Herrera doing a good job in preventing the choke. Now he's got the problem of dealing with Easley on his back. Can he shake him off? Yeah, Easley, Easley making those adjustments little by little right there. Staying on the back. Applying that grappling right here. Easley riding a little high. Herrera able to back door out. That was a good move, that was a good move right there from Herrera, staying calm to get out of that bad position. And now wow. he looks like he's on top now, looking to rain down some shots. He's looking if he can answer back. He's got to be careful, though, because he ran into a couple of up kicks. But now, as the roles have reversed, as Herrera's the one with a little bit of a back take. Well, you know, the volatile one, when he, co he comes to throw bombs, and he throws, and he's always throwing, he's throwing with bad intentions, Herrera is. And these two are up on their feet, throwing down, as ordered earlier. We were anticipating a firefight. And a right, big right hand landed by Herrera right here. As he also is using the fence to control the, the, the positioning right here. And this is where he's strong right here. Throwing that, that, throwing that right hand, little push off right there. Man, these two are thrown down here in the LMA Fighting Championship cage. Ooh, now Easley's answering back now. Ooh, looks like he's come back alive now. That first two minutes was, was, was very hectic in those grappling exchanges. And that's how it is sometimes, settling into the fight, you know what I'm saying? Herrera backing easily up into the cage, looking to score something big. Easley, all hard himself, hanging in there. Yeah, he's going to need... Easley's gonna need a little bit of offense right now coming forward. Wow! Oh, he, he stuck him with that left hook right as I say that. Man, Easley with that overhand right. Oh yeah, it was an overhand, you're right. Looked like he faked like a shot right into the, to the punch. But Herrera has a beard on him, look at that. Already he's recovered. Yeah, he survived that one, wow. Good first round from these two fighters. So Got far, the fight of the night, Ricky. <laughs> Let's go, so far. And round one in the books, as we got a firefight on our hands between Victor Herrera and Logan Easley. I got a little confused earlier with the color of the of the uh, gloves, but Easley's wearing the purple trunks, Herrera in the black. There we see Easley's corner. You have to wonder what adjustments they are instructing their fighter to make. Very entertaining fight thus far. Did easily, sometimes when you get an advantageous position like that early on in the fight, that adrenaline just pumps so much when you get so close to a finish that if you're not careful, that you may burn yourself out. That may have been what happened right there too as well. I was thinking the same thing. 
because after they got out of that grappling exchange, Herrera just swarmed easily. And easily was trapped on that fence for a little bit, but then easily did come back when he landed that big right hand in the closing in the closing 20 seconds of the first round. You know, with time and experience comes ways to keep that under control and stay composed. Round two underway in this lightweight matchup. Oh, Herrera, the high kick. And these two are picking up right where they left off from round one. Yeah, Herrera looking a little bit more comfortable on the feet right here. And he's even looking a little bit more fresher working behind that jab. Man, Easley is a warrior. Yeah, now Easley's coming in. He comes in with a little one-one-two, putting the pressure on the fence. He's looking to look to, to put that grappling on him right now. Expending quite a bit of energy, looking for that takedown. Yeah, for Herrera, where he has his advantages is just controlling the center of the controlling the center of the cage and just working behind his shots right now. Straight cross to the body from Herrera. Yeah, Herrera's keeping that pressure on him right now. Herrera cutting off the cage. Can easily get himself off of the wall. So right now, it's not a good spot for him to be in. Herrera is picking his shots. Yeah, he seems to, he seems to have come into his rhythm right now in this fight. And easily, easily is not yet to come with any type of answer for the stand-up game that Herrera is putting on. Herrera is looking for that low kick to kick out the back leg of Easley. Halfway into this second round. Big one two there from Herrera. And Easy goes low, see if he can complete this shot. Easy going for the shot right here. But Herrera easily stops it right now. And not, oh. Not sure if that's a sign of easily starting to fatigue. One minute left in this first round right now. You start to read the body language of both fighters, Ricky. Oh, my. Easy knocks out the mouthpiece of Herrera. Referee Daniel G. Keep it letting the fight go on. She's looking for a possible point that she can break the fight. Let's get that mouthpiece back in if she's noticed. Right now, they're in the middle of a solid flurry, so she's going to let the fight continue on. I don't think the ref has noticed that the mouthpiece fell on the floor, truthfully. But Herrera, he don't care. He's literally just banging with the big kicks, the one-two, the head kick. Another right hand from Herrera, and he's just controlling the fight right now as he's got easily on the fence. Herrera with the momentum on his side. Short time left in this round. I like it how the referee, Daniel G, has just let the fight continue. Because there's been some solid action in this last 30 seconds. Yes, I can appreciate that for sure as well. Easy coming back with the hook uppercut right now. And then Round Victor two Herrera in the books. Had, had she stopped the action, that would have definitely given an advantage for Easley. Because Easley was looking a little worse for the wear there in those exchanges towards the end. Yeah, that was a good second round right now. It's been a, a great lot of action. Yeah, great fight though so far, Ricky. You called it. This is gonna be a firefight. If I was in the corner of Logan Easley, I'd be concerned of the conditioning and if he would be able to finish this fight. Conditioning is, could definitely be a factor in this third and final round. Yeah, that conditioning, that's half of the puzzle. It might, the, that's half the that's half the battle right there, you know what I'm saying? The technique and everything, and the, the moves that you're gonna be using in the stand-up and the grappling, that's the, that's the other half right there. But then, just being in good shape and being able to stay in the fight for whatever, nine minutes, 15 minutes, 25 minutes, and apply your strategy, you're gonna need that, that energy system, for sure. Let's see what story unfolds in this third and final round. If I was in Victor Herrera's corner, I would tell him to keep the pressure on Easley, to break him, but Easley comes out with a stiff jab. Herrera answers back, backs Easley up a little bit. Diving strike there from Herrera. Herrera looking to pick his shots. 
Yes, he is, and he's right back in the same position where he wanted him, picking up where he left off in the second round right now, you know? Once again, cutting off the cage on Easy. Wouldn't be surprised if Easy would be looking for a takedown here to get himself out of that For sure, he's going to some sort of adjustment right now, for sure. Whether in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, either in the stand-up and just going for broke and throwing some bombs, or going for the grappling, for sure. But I'm not so sure if Easley has the, has the energy right now to, to go for the takedown. Herrera, Herrera, Herrera has really, really picked apart the energy system on the energy bar, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, he, as I say, that he lands another so right hand of the body. To Easley's credit, he has been hanging in there, eating every shot and answering back himself. He is a warrior, catches the leg. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Front headlock position now from Easley. Can he do something with this? He needs something big. And we're back in the separation. Back in open water. About 80 seconds left in this, in this third and final round between Guerrero and Easley. And here comes Easley coming, coming forward with a little four-punch combination. But then he backs up again, and Herrera taking, 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 uh, taking the real estate again. Oh, and right oh, across that, the body, that man hurt him. Yeah, you can definitely see that that body shot got to easily a little bit. He, he should go back to that if he wants this TKO. We got one minute left. I think Herrera could finish this fight if he just picks his shots. Easley is fighting on pure heart, Ricky. 100%, 100%. Hats off to Easley for not giving up and staying in this fight as best he can. I mean, visually, I mean, he looks exhausted. But he still keeps moving forward. He's not going to give up. Yeah, respect. Respect to Logan Easley. And look at that. He's still trying to throw down right here in the middle of the cage. But right there, backing up. That's not a good sign. Herrera in control of this fight. Yeah, with 28 seconds to go. We're going to see if Herrera lets him fly. And I feel if Herrera were to step on the gas just a little bit more, he could put a stoppage to this fight. Easier said than done, though. Short time left. Let's see if something big happens. Swing it out to the bell, baby. Victor Herrera and Logan Easley go the distance here tonight on Elevate Fighting Championship. Heck of a performance from Victor Herrera and an awesome display of heart from Logan Easley. Yeah, that was a great fight. That was a great fight. Respect to both fighters, for sure. Pretty easy fight to call, Ricky. I think I give a pretty solid edge to the volatile one, Victor Herrera, and picking up the decision on that fight. Yeah, he had the momentum the whole fight, it looked like. You know what I'm saying? He was picking his shots. You know, he, he did a good job of weathering that early storm when he got his back taken in that first minute. You know what I'm saying? And after that, it looked like it was one-way traffic on the stand-up exchange. He was controlling the cage the whole time, picking his shots with the fists and with the kicks. Good performance right there from Victor Herrera. Yeah, first round was Easley's best round. After that, it was all Victor Herrera in full control. And thus far, been our best fight of the night. Very action-packed. Oh, and we just getting started, baby. We are just getting started. Yep. Four fights down, seven to go. Excuse me. Eight fights to go as we have 12 fights scheduled for here tonight. That's what's up, bro. Hey, I'm having a good time, baby. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you it'd be a good fight. Give a round of applause and show our appreciation, please. We go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the fight the same 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision. The always fun volatile one victory. Congratulations go to Victor Herrera. Yeah, we're